In, in terms of um, improving adherence with motivational interviewing, I, I think adherence is, is key with with uh, outcomes in acute coronary syndromes. Um, in terms of whether it be their doinic platelet therapy or their statin or their beta blocker or whatnot. Um, anytime this goes on, similar to a heart failure patient, I mean, um, when these patients present with acute coronary syndromes, on average, we're gonna be sending them home with anywhere from four to five new medications. Uh, and if they're not adhering to it, we're gonna have another event. Uh, so I, I tend to lean towards um, an acronym, the ORS technique, which is, is, is mentioned in some of the literature for APHA. Uh, so O is for open-ended questions. Uh, and, and you're truly trying to form a partnership uh, with the patient when you're motivational and interviewing, uh, because you want to have buy-in on all sides if they feel like you're telling them what to do. The chances of success are not going to be very good. So open-ended questions allow them to explain to you what they're thinking. Um, a is actually for affirmation. Uh, it's, it's so much easier to have somebody change a behavior if you tell them what they're doing well first. Uh, so simply going in and saying you've done this, this, and this, and this is why this happened, you're going to lose them immediately. No one likes to be told what they're, what they're doing is wrong. Um, R is for reflective listening. Uh, this is where uh, your skills and empathy could come in. Uh, and, and, and ensuring that you completely understand where they're coming from. Uh, maybe, you know, Maybe you'll find something in your lifestyle that they couldn't tolerate the ID regimen. If you can find it on the front end, we can we can fix up before they leave the hospital, where we're more likely to actually have buy-in with what they're, they're doing. And then S is for summary at the end. So basically a teach-back methodology to make sure that they completely understand what you're asking them to do. And you can confirm that there's a level of buy-in. Because again, if they say they can't do it, uh, changes can be made before they're discharged.